Now we have come to part C, the last part of this entire experiment. Now it's going to be very, very interesting because for this portion, you're going to add something special. Now this special thing, which I'm not going to tell you in a while, is going to relate back to your topic that you learned in your theory. So every time when you're doing practical, remember, always link back to your theory, okay? Now, moving on to C part 1, let's do the preparation as well, okay? This is the clean test tube. Over here says add about 1 cm of X, which is this one over here, okay? Into a clean test tube. So, and to this, add about 3 pieces of granulated zinc. That means it's zinc in big pieces. Allow the mixture to stand for several minutes. I want to draw your attention to this portion, okay, but let me label it properly. This is my X, and of course, zinc was added, and let's label C part one. Okay, why do I stop over here? Now, please bear in mind that when zinc was added, you must remember that zinc is a metal. When a metal is added, this is actually a displacement reaction. In this part, I will want you to take note. Sometimes they will add zinc, sometimes they will add magnesium. So I will be a little bit more uh, careful. This zinc is not special. Uh, it's, uh, it's special, sorry. Because it's not the aluminium where they are testing for nitrate or, or, or other things, but zinc. So another method is added is always a displacement reaction. We have to be careful about that. And then when displacement of metal is added, there are a few things. You are looked out. Okay, look out for color change. Second, look out for bubbles. And thirdly, according to the uh, uh, reactivity series of metals, okay, you can actually watch my video as well to look for that. You will notice that zinc is uh, quite somewhere in the middle. So if you're guessing what is going on in this one, this must be way below zinc. So I will write down. The reactive series of metal and I notice that zinc is here okay and then most likely it is in the, in the bottom of zinc can be any one of this item over here okay then they say carefully pour off the solution keyword solution into a clean test tube to leave the solid behind then they move on to show add about 1 cm depth of X into a clean boiling tube and this time round okay uh, add sodium hydroxide slowly with shaking until no further change is seen now this portion here is actually test for cation okay and then add two pieces of aluminium foil to the boiling tube wow this is very smart First part, test your cat ion, but with the aluminum foil, your game change. So what does the game change shows? The game change shows that it's over here. Because in the end ion test, there's one part where you add sodium hydroxide followed by aluminum foil. It's none other than testing for nitrate. And I need to take note, ammonia gas might be produced. If it's produced, nitrate is present. So, put this back here. I must write down ammonia gas, prepare, rate litmus paper okay so with that in mind let's quickly draw out the test tube over here i have prepared this part now this part here let me do the drawing this is my x okay sodium hydroxide with shaking and then i need foil so let me prepare and write down this is my c part two you notice I didn't start by doing everything, but I prepared so that when I do it, I will not be anxious and I will not go around searching for things and make sure that things are prepared. Now, I don't need sulfuric acid anymore, so I will put it back to the rack. Okay, I don't need silver nitrate anymore, put it back. But now, my main focus now is zinc and okay in the lab here i do not have granulated zinc but i do have zinc powder and then i say i need to have litmus paper and i need the pink color red litmus paper for sure okay the red litmus paper okay now dry litmus paper have no use so i'm going to damp it okay and i'm going to place it right in front over here okay and make sure i don't drop it all right okay i'm ready and let's begin now remember this is my x okay so i'm going to pour out x over here let me put this back so that everybody can see okay pull it down pour out my x
Okay, slightly over, but never mind. Now, pour a little bit of the zinc inside. Okay, zinc powder. Okay, allow the mixture to stand for several minutes. So I'm going to let it stand, but at the moment, okay, I will feel that, oh, okay, the, the test tube itself is hot. And not only that, I can actually see bubbles forming. Okay, I'm going to use another backing, the black color backing. I think the white one will be better. All right, I hope you all can see. I see slight bubbles forming over at this side. Okay, now if you are good, you can actually use a lighted spleen to test. Okay, because uh, if it's hot, in actual fact, zinc can react with uh, steam, which is uh, water at 100 degrees Celsius, and therefore they will produce hydrogen gas. Okay, but because I asked you to stand for several minutes, so I'll let it stand for several minutes. But as waiting, okay, I'm going to write down what I observed. Solution X is pale yellow. Okay, upon adding zinc powder, okay, effervescent, effervescent is produced, okay, not only that, you also saw that, as I say, um, the test tube is hot. You have learned that when uh, things is hot, it's an exothermic reaction, okay? Now, then allow the mixture to, to stand for several minutes. I need to let it stand, okay? So let's just wait for it. Uh-huh. And lead, uh, pour off the solution into a clean test tube to leave the solid behind. All right. To second part over here. All right, they say at about 1 cm, but so I'm going to leave this first. I will come back to here. Now, to the next portion over here, they say you add another X inside. And then now I add sodium hydroxide. Okay, I saw brown precipitate forming. Okay. Over here, you can see that there's brown precipitate. Okay, brown precipitate forming. Okay, I think with the white background, it's even better. Alright, so I'm going to write down. Upon... Adding... Oops, I used a red colour one. Let me change the colour so that it doesn't look so scary on screen, alright? So, upon adding an AOH, okay, a reddish brown PPT was seen. Okay, shaking until no further changes the scene, okay? So, let me get this up. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Until no further changes the scene, okay? Then they say you have to, okay, so reddish brown was seen. Reddish brown PPT do not dissolve in excess NaOH. I'm going to add a little bit more, okay, to confirm it that it do not dissolve in excess. Actually, I know that it doesn't dissolve. Why do I know it should be so? How come I'm so sure? Because the brown PPT with NaOH, if you take a quick look over here, is actually my iron 3. Okay, and it's insoluble in excess. So over here, I will write down bracket Fe3. Plus. Okay, then this part, okay, it's the interesting part, it's my foil part. My foil is in front. Now, this is the aluminium foil. I purposely put two things here. This is magnesium. Magnesium is smaller. Aluminium foil is larger. One set, they say several. Let me see how many pieces they want me to add. They say two pieces. So one piece, let me add one more. Okay. 
let me add this one over here okay I'm supposed to heat it okay let's heat now as you heat you will feel the the your hand over here you can feel the vibration of the test tube okay so if the if the test tube get a little bit too vigorous and vibrating you will move it away okay remember i say before when you are testing for this part which is your litmus paper do not do both at the same time it's really scary so see bubble forming let me move it away Be careful of your litmus paper. Uh, make sure that it doesn't touch the side of the test tube and you're really testing for the gas that's evolved, okay? Be here a little bit more. I hope the camera actually capture it because I can see from my side very clearly that the litmus paper is slowly turning blue and I did not touch the side of the test tube. Okay, steady hands and take it out and can you see that it really turns blue. So I will write over here. Gently warm the mixture. Let me turn off the Bunsen burner. Come back to here upon heating effervescent e-f-f-e-r v-e s-c-e-n c-e-e -E. okay was produced gas evolve turn dam rate litmus paper blue all right i have finished this part okay and this beautiful okay let it continue to uh go on so let's see what are some of the questions using your observation in c part 2 ah deduce the identity of q this part i know is fe3 plus and this part i know that is nitrate so sort q is iron not forgetting the roman lettering nitrate okay evidence in c part 2 when NaOH was added, red PPT was formed. Red PPT do not dissolve in excess NaOH. Okay, and when second part when al foil was added gas evolve turn dam red litmus paper blue therefore ammonia gas is present thus shows that nitrate is in X. All right, so I have proved this. Two marks, very worth the effort and it's very simple. Suggest an explanation for your observation in C part one. In terms of the chemistry involved, ah, let's take a good look at our C part one over here, okay? Ah, you can see over here, that is a huge, uh, there's a color change, let I say, okay? So I'm going to write it down over here. Carefully pour off the solution into a clean test tube and leave the solid behind, okay? Pour off into a clean test tube. Ah, this is the clean test tube, pour off. Okay, leave the solid behind, all right? So this is a clear solution, this is a solid, okay? Now I'm gonna write down over here what I actually observe in this part okay uh, this says that uh, stand for several minutes okay so I will write down 
solution x become sorry let me write better become a clear solution okay zinc was left uh, okay because this is powdered zinc all right so um, I have to explain this part in theory first okay now in my lab I'm sorry I do not have powdered uh, I do not have granulated zinc but I only have powdered zinc technically if granulated zinc is one strip of it later on um, we will show you a picture at the side at this portion here okay so you will see a layer of red dish solid form on top of it okay so is to show that it's a displacement reaction so suggest the explanation so zinc is more reactive than fe according to the reactivity series of metal therefore a displacement keyword reaction has taken place all right therefore the solution changes color from yellow to colorless okay yeah that's all all right so we have finished this oh yes i finished this okay so i'll see you back for more well done you have completed the entire 2018 practical i'm so proud of you now do you realize that it's really not that difficult always remember the preparation and the execution link back to the theory but i love this little twist that they have in part a Okay, by asking you about the anion and the last part, they add sodium hydroxide first. Then you will think your mind that oh, we must do a test of cation, but they added something else, aluminum foil. So it's two parts where you can test for both cation and anion. I thought it was brilliant, okay? And of course, they link back your theory and, and adding a metal. So everything sum up, just remember the few chapters I asked you to learn metals, redox, acid, base, and salt. So get yourself ready for your practical exam. All the best.